Hello everybody, it is Slartribution. I am here today doing a video on Attack of the B Team. Now, um, it's probably been about a day or so since the last video, and that's because um, I've been working on two different things, and they're brand new, so I hope you enjoy them. They're not as good as the kitchen and stuff, but um, today's episode we'll just be kind of having a talk, just, just in general. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get on with the video. Um, so the two things that I've made are a theater with a filming area down below and on the right side we have a glitchy cow and that's all no I'm just kidding we have a on the right side we have a farm where um, sheeps are down at the bottom sheep are down at the bottom not sheeps I don't even know if that's is that plural what, what is plural for sheep I think it's just sheep anyways we have sheep down here at the bottom we have horses up here and then up here we have we have cows and pigs and um, this is more like a little stable area. You, that's the main entrance down here. You can also enter, but then up here, um, you can still enter up here also as well. Uh, and then you can go down or up like that. Uh, particularly, I, I like this way better just because I can get back here and go up also if I need to. And uh, all my materials are, and stuff are back here for the horses and things like that. But um. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so I look at a horse and I die? My computer dies? No, just kidding. Um, it better not be that way anyways. Anyways, um, we have Indy Shadows, my new horse. He's uh, kind of like a black, a really black horse. And um, yeah, and then on that side we have a brown horse, I think, with white spots on it. And he doesn't have a name. We'll have to name, it, name him at some point, name him or her at some point. On this side, we have the film filming area, the theater, um, and the filming area. Now, up here, we have the classic Indiana Jones scene with um, Indiana Jones. Couldn't figure out how to make his top hat, how to make his like little indent up here on his hat. And then on this side, we got the big boulder coming after him, and we're going to put some seats down in here today. Um, I just want to go ahead and show you the rest of this stuff, though, real quickly. And then... Um, for some reason, every time I land, it gets really laggy. But we have a red carpet that kind of hangs over, and the whole theater building is a little bit bigger than the little film film filming area. So if you look, there's like a pillar with like a radio tower going the going downwards instead. Kind of that was a nice little addition to it. Uh, still haven't done anything on this video, uh, this building. Um, actually, as a matter of fact, I took some stuff out of it to use it on the I used it on the armory, but um, yeah, over here we have Josh, uh, Mr. Cool Dude 79, or um, you guys might know him as I'm So Creative, or it's Maximus, or something like that. And then we have him shooting a minion as he's running away from it, and it's just kind of like I don't know. This is supposed to be a camera. I kind of failed at that, and these are supposed to be like the lights. I wasn't quite sure how to make all this stuff, so I kind of just threw it together. Um, really, I think the, the green screen makes it because, I don't know, when I think movie, I think green screen, I think um, occasional props, I don't know. I'm thinking actually down below I might have a little prop room, and I was thinking about how I could make little, like, um, what do they call little shelves that hold clothes on them clothes racks there we go and <laughs> you kinda just they're gonna be armor stands and then on top they'll be like micro blocks going across to connect them all and it'll look like a metal beam it, it'll be pretty cool um, if I actually do that but um, the reason I didn't make these on camera was because I kinda just wanted to do something fun get out kinda go explore and um, we're probably gonna get some chickens that's one thing we're gonna be doing this episode but up here we're going to go ahead and place these seats down and place some carpet down so the seats will be like this right here. It'll be one, two, two, three, and then there's gonna be a little middle area where you can walk down. Three, three, and the design of this building is it's supposed to look more like a modern version of the Chinese building, the Chinese uh, theater building, whatever. I think it is called the Chinese theater or something like that, but it's in um. God, I'm losing my memory. It, you guys know what I'm talking about. Most of you, anyways, that seen it before. It's a cool-looking building out, and I think I want to say near Hollywood. 
I don't quite know. I, I, I'm blanking out a little bit here, but just 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 take my word for it. Um, now doing all this, I've broken my saw a couple times. And I just started making a cheaper sapphire saw, so um, not to worry about that. But also we need the let's see where is it the chisel. I don't know why I'm looking up in the air like that, but okay. Do that, and then we gotta go right here, put this in there, put these right here. And let's cut them down. Oh no, what did I just do? I don't need to cut it, what am I doing? I have like the wrong idea for some reason, why do I want to keep doing that? Go over here, here we go. There we go. Alright, that should be enough to finish it off, and then we have the red wool to cover the floor. Because I just want to keep the same carpety design on the inside as well. Um, so, boom, boom, boom. I like the red. It kind of adds a different color to the whole uh, Cloud City thing. And I'm starting to like the whole Cloud City idea itself. Because if you look, there's a lot more things and stuff going on now. Because it's looking a little more crowded. That's what I want. I like, I like it when things are close together. Um, I also wanted to have a Star Wars futuristic feel to it, and I feel like that's kind of doing a pretty good job with that one too, because I have the just the, the different doors and stuff that work certain ways and things like that. But um, yeah, now today what we will be talking about is trolls and just people and haters and people like that in general. Now, we all probably have, especially if you do videos, you're going to have the people that sit there and they dislike your videos. Now, I've had somebody come along and do that. Not to all of them, but I've seen people that come along and do it to all of them. But they do it to the occasional video I have one a while back. It wasn't the greatest one. It was like the one where I was on the moon. And um, I don't know what I was thinking that day. I did watch it. It wasn't the greatest. But I don't feel like there was no reason for the person to dislike the video. Of course, it's going to be nighttime now. Um... And they dislike that one. I have several dislikes on my intro. And to tell you the truth, I like my intro compared to other people's. Because most other people's intros are the same ones that you see all over the internet that people actually make for them. Why the heck did that just go uber fast? I don't know. Alright, but what we need now is for it to stop lagging when I land. But what we also need is this... What's it called? What is this thing called? Safari Net, that's right. Alright, and we're going to go catch some chickens. But, yeah, I've had a couple people come along and dislike some of my videos. Um, Josh, I know he has people that come along and dislike his videos. Uh, just throughout all of my YouTube career, even when I had my other channel, the Lord of Snakes 6 channel, it, it wasn't the greatest thing either, so... I don't know, I don't care for people sitting there disliking videos when I feel like they don't have the opportunity to do so. And then what I also hate is when I go to their channel and I see that they have no subscribers, no videos, no nothing. And then, occasionally, then you could tell they're trolls if you look on their channel and it says they've disliked video after video. And they've sat there and they've commented on each one of them saying, this is terrible, you suck, or having like a big long fight with somebody else, something like that. You can always tell if they're trolls by then because, you know, it's just like, it's pretty obvious because they want to sit there and start a fight with everybody. And then sit there and laugh at it when people are trying to actually fight them back. I mean, if you're going to fight somebody, at least actually do the freaking job right. But, um, I just feel like it's a really stupid thing. Um, now, what I meant by haters is just the people that aren't trolls, really. The people that sit there and dislike all these videos, and they actually mean it for some apparent reason, but yet sometimes they still don't even have a, any videos or anything like that. I just feel like they don't think they have the expertise to do certain things, and so they sit there and they get on the freaking channels and stuff, and they start disliking videos themselves, and they're like, oh, well, this is, this is like making all these other people think they're terrible too. And to tell you the truth, I don't care. I could care less about these people. I like fighting the trolls. I'll feed the troll because in my opinion I'm trolling you just as much as you're trolling me because I'm actually answering you and I don't give a damn I'm just gonna put it that way I don't give a damn if you're a troll because I'll just troll you right back I don't care I don't care what we're fighting 
I have fun with it. I'm on the internet all the time. You know, I get out and stuff. I have a life. But I still... Oh, God, I just lagged. But I get on the internet all the time. So, it's not that big of a deal for me to have to reply to your comments every day due to the fact that I'm mostly on all the time. You're never going to win the battle with me because only thing I'm going to do is just end is just stop talking to you because I don't care anymore. That's I just wanted to throw that out there. I don't mean to, you know, hurt anybody's feelings or make them get pissed off or anything like that. Here's a chicken. You're mine. But um I don't know, I've almost run out of breath talking about that because I don't know, it just it just really irks me sometimes depending on what the person does and stuff. Did you not drop a thing? Are you serious? It seems so hard to get arrows. Even when I'm sitting there, even when I take the sword that has looting on it, I seem to get a thousand bones but no arrows. Oh, there's the last chicken. Good. Alright, now we can take the chickens back and I can uh, go ahead and most likely end this video and I'll most likely build something on camera next, next um, episode. So I'll be ready for that. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hope I didn't get anybody too pissed off. Hope my 30 some subscribers that I have right now doesn't end up, I don't end up losing any. I hope actually I end up gain, gaining some by, I mean, just telling the truth. You know, that's, that's how I feel. And um, to tell you the truth, I don't care that you guys don't subscribe or anything like that. Have fun watching my videos. You don't have to subscribe. I would love it for you too. I'd love for you to, you know, help me get some money off of Google AdSense or something like that. I'm not saying that's the only reason I'm doing this. I, I just like this I just like to see reactions and stuff. I mean comment and stuff like that. You don't even have to comment, but I'm just telling you. Uh if you do any of that stuff, go ahead and do it. I don't care. Um if you have any creative feedback, go ahead and tell me. And then I'll look at it and think about it because sometimes I've realized that some people that are being straightforward are just having to be straightforward on purpose. Like the other day when I was on um, the Tech It forums and the guy that had helped me download the power module suits or the module power suits mod, or there was actually several of them and they were trying to tell me what had happened but I completely skipped over the whole thing. So it, I felt like afterwards I kind of felt like a really big butthole about it even though I felt they were being buttholes the whole time because I just didn't believe that they were telling me the truth. Actually, at times, I thought they were just lying. I was like, are they just trying to, like, freaking blow me off or something here? And when I went back and looked, I was like, well, okay then. So, I don't know. It's, it's sometimes it, um, kind of irks you. kind of doesn't. Um, like I said, I enjoy having you guys that do watch my videos commenting and stuff like that so if you do leave a like favor to comment subscribe whatever the heck you guys do and um i'm gonna end it here i'll talk to you guys later um one last apology for those who hated this episode so yep talk to you guys later and